Oh, here we are, this is uh, Foxton Locks, Leicestershire, where I used to live at Foxton, it's just over there, over the hill there. And uh, we used to come down here all the time. It's all a bit commercialised now to be honest, they've got a couple of pubs here and everything, but before all that it was pretty, uh, you know, just functional really for boats. But, uh, yeah, there's the moorings down here. They come down and moor up for the however long they want to stay with the electric hookups and everything. She's opening the bridge now for him, look. Of course, years ago, this uh, whole system, it was used for m moving uh, heavy stuff. You know, there weren't so many lorries then. It was all done by canal, coals and... All sorts, really. A slow way of life, but it was a very, very hard way of life as well at the same time. And he's on a new bike somewhere. I said, oh, where should we go? Foxton Locks. It was all right. She bombed off. So I set off at good pace to catch her up. And I'm here before her, so I don't know where she's gone, really, to be honest. But, yeah. A lot of people now, they just use these boats for holidays. As I say, there are people that live on them, but uh, I'd love to, to be honest. It's a lovely way of life, isn't it? Quiet and peaceful. Pub's never far away. There's a pub. I used to work there when I was a late teenager. Pound an hour. All right for a bit till they started taxing me on it. I thought, oh, fuck that. This was all shop. This is the shop. There's a shop here still on the end. Used to sell all the painted buckets and everything. I think it's shut now. No. Yeah, that's where used to, the shop used to be. There's shops down there now, look. There's one of the locks. I, don't, I forget how many there is. Quite a feat of engineering making these locks, wasn't it? it? Takes quite a bit of time to come through this set of locks from the top to the bottom. Oh, you can see this is filling up now. Look, there's the boat coming now. Well, they, when they've got these levels right, the boat will they'll open the gates. Obviously they can't do it till they've got the levels about right, otherwise the pressure would be too much. See how fast that boat's going down now. It's, there's a relief there, look, goes into that pond there. And here she comes. One more gate after this, one more lock after this, and they'll be down the bottom. Just put reverse on in a minute, or she'll crash in into the next gate. Hard reverse, hard reverse. And that's the gate closing. Here's Mandy, look. There she is. Let's do one of them slow motion. Slow motion thing. <laughs> yeah. It's a Hello. I went round the block again. I guessed you had. I thought she's gone without me, so I bombed off. I thought, no, I'll go round the block again. Yeah. And, uh, and then come and get you. Yeah. So I went and come and got <laughs> And I was gone. gone. <laughs> and I thought, oh, it's done. Uh, yeah. I thought she's a cheeky cow, she's gone. So now this boat's coming through this side, isn't it? To get to the bottom. They're letting the water out from this one. We've got a little shop here as well. Are you going in? Well, I suppose we've got to go in to do that then, haven't we? 
can't see a thing, I ain't got my glasses on. There we go, in 1894, Fox and Lux was on the junction of two canals, each run by a different company. It was therefore an important location for collecting tolls as boats crossed from one company's canal to another. It was also a hive of activity for many trades associated with the canal. Standing here in 1894, you would have been surrounded by very different sights and sounds. Well, that's true. That's true of about uh, 30 years ago. Am I flashing? Thank you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's lovely bike of Mandy's look. Look at that. Isn't that absolutely lovely? Mm. Yeah, it just needs a little bit of a tidy up in mm, places. It's a bit cruddy around here. You see, it's parked up, been parked up for years, not used, and uh, just needs a little fettling with the uh, with the scrubbing brush, really. Hmm. Titivating, indeed. They a damn good thrashing and titivation. It's a motorcycle. And it's mine. <laughs> and it's yours. You. You there. <laughs> yes. Meanwhile, I'm on Hepcat Harley's machine, the Honda Hornet. Nice. New tyre on the rear. Did you notice? Did, did you notice that? I did notice that. Then that looks bloody lovely. And I, I think I might have to clean it before I hand it back. It's, yeah. Yeah, there's a bit of muck, I think dirt, I mean, I don't mind so dirt, yeah, I don't mind, I don't mind, I, you know, there's new oil, look, new oil, from last night we gave it a service, didn't we, Mandy, we gave it a service, new oil, in there, in there, and what else do we do, air filter, new air filter in, in, in there, this is a how-to, in there, look, in there. In there. Yeah, yeah. That's how to change the oil and filter. What else do we do? You did the oil oh, the oil, oil. Yeah, yeah. yes. The thing that filters the mark out of the oil, and that's in there, look. That's how you fit that in there, without burning my finger. <laughs> and I, I, I put these little... Um, these the bungy things on, you see, yeah. bungy things, new horn, because the other one packed up, new mirrors, um, and it's looking rather lovely, it's a lovely motorcycle, I must have been, yeah, yeah, there's a bit of muck on there, look, look at a yeah. bit of muck, where does muck come from, there's bloody insects everywhere, they should ban them, right, should we, um, Shoot. Where do you want to go at this time of the god given day? What time is it? I don't know. Well then we don't know what time it is then, do we? I say we go back home and have a cup of tea. Really? What and go for a ride later? Possibly, yes. Okay. Follow me. Follow me, my lady. While I mount this machine. <laughs> <laughs> 